in this session our topic is pipelining the pipeline architecture so what is the pipeline architecture and how does it work what are the different parameters which will decide that whether the pipeline is working well or not so also what is the non pipeline architecture so we shall discuss all these aspects in this particular video session so we know that whenever a program executes it executes through certain phases so there are mainly five phases are there we are having instruction fetch also it can be called as opcode fetch because opcode or instruction the same thing so instruction fetch or opcode fetch then we are having the instruction decode that means after fetching instruction from the memory the processor should decode that one decode means to get the meaning of that instruction so decode instruction after decoding it will get the idea that how many operands or data will be required for the instruction to get executed so the third phase will be fetch operand next phase will be you see the instruction has got decoded we know the meaning we have got the data on which the instruction can work with so then fourth phase will be instruction execute and after execution of the instruction in that very particular phase the result thus produced so the last phase will be stored result so we can have this five phases are there so instruction fetch instruction decode operand fetch operand execute and operand store now we know that a program consists of multiple instructions so in case of non pipeline architecture this is the instruction execution in non pipeline architecture in case of non pipeline architecture what will happen after completion of instruction execution for the ith instruction then i plus 1th instruction will be initiated after completion of execution of i plus 1th instruction then i plus 2th instruction will be executed so instructions will go on executing after finishing of the previous one so they are executing and in an fashion known as instruction wise interleaved so that is known as the non pipeline architecture here this total instruction duration execution duration i can call it as tn and the phase duration i can call it as a tp so tp stands for the phase duration okay in case of pipeline architecture what will happen when the first instruction is executing when the first instruction is going from first phase to the second phase then the next instruction that is i plus 1th instruction will be going to the instruction fetch and when the ith instruction will be going from the instruction decode to operand fetch phase then i plus 1th instruction will be going from instruction fetch to instruction decode and i plus 2th instruction will go for instruction fetch execution for the first time so here this instructions are getting executed phase wise interleaved whereas here it was instruction wise interleaved so this is known as pipeline execution here instruction execution time spans are overlapping so parallel execution of instructions are taking place if you consider any this vertical this one just consider this particular time slot you cannot find more than one instruction in the same phase all the instructions will be in different phases so phase wise there will be no contention so this is known as pipeline execution this is known as non pipeline execution so obviously we can feel that in case of pipeline execution the instruction will get executed or the program will get executed faster how many cycles it took 5 cycles into 3 so 15 cycles 15 phase durations it took but here to execute the same number of instructions same number of three instructions how many phase durations were required 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 only seven only seven has suffice this particular requirement now we shall discuss some parameters which will decide 
that how what is the performance of your pipeline execution. So, we shall discuss these four parameters one is the speed up ratio, next one is the frequency how to calculate the frequency, next one is the pipeline efficiency and the last one is the pipeline throughput. So, let me go one by one. So, I have done the board work here. Let us suppose we are having five phases, this is the instruction number 1 executing, instruction number 2 executing, instruction number 3, instruction number 4, instruction number 5, instruction number 6. So, here you see at any duration of time you can find, find multiple instructions are working or executing at the same time, but you cannot find that in the same phase multiple instructions are there phase wise they are interleaved as I discussed here earlier. So, that is the issue. So, how many clock cycles did it require? How many? I am telling you here is 5 phases are there segment or phases. So, here we are having uh, 6 instructions are there T 1 to T 6, 6 instructions. So, how many clock cycles it take or say duration phase duration it take? It takes 10 such. So, I am giving you 5, I am giving you 6. So, how to get 10? So, the equation is n number of instructions here the value of n is 6, k number of phases here the value of k is 5. So, n plus k minus 1 will be the total number of phase duration. So, now I am making this one as n, I am making this one as k. So, here I am having n is equal to 6 because I am having 6 instructions, k is equal to 5 because I am having 5 segments. So, this is the case. So, now what is the speed up ratio? So, let me discuss the first one. Let me discuss the first one, the speed up ratio. What is the speed up ratio? Speed up ratio is nothing but non pipeline execution time by pipeline execution time. So, speed up ratio is nothing but non pipeline execution time by pipeline execution time. Okay. Now, see let us suppose this is the T n, this is the T n, T n means the total instruction execution time. Okay. Now, consider this very particular diagram. Here I am having S i th phase and S i plus 1 th phase. In between we are having this latches, when the clock pulse will be falling then this latch will be enabled then inputs can go to the output of this latch, inputs can go to the output of this particular latch. So, this is my latch delay that means input will go to the output, so it will take some time, this is known as latch delay and this is known as the phase duration, this is a phase duration. So, opcode phase, instruction phase, whatever, whatever it is, so this is the phase durations T m. So, tau is nothing but T m plus T d. So, tau is nothing but T m plus T d. What is tau? Tau is the clock cycle period. So, there is a time period of this particular clock because different phases will have different durations may have I cannot ensure you that all the phases will take the same amount of time during the execution. I cannot ensure you that one because the output fetch may require more time than operand fetch might be or say uh, operand execute. So, that is why it is a common practice that for all the phases, how many phases are there? K number of phases. So, for all the phases I shall calcul calculate the maximum duration of them plus the latch delay will be the time period. So, it is a very famous equation. So, that is my maximum phase duration plus latch delay will give you the time period. Okay. So, now what is the frequency then? 1 by tau. So, what is the frequency? 1 by tau. Good. Now, please come to the speed up ratio again. Speed up ratio non pipeline execution time by pipeline execution time. Speed up ratio S of k is equal to why I am writing k here because we are having k number of phases. So, n into T n what is n number of instructions? What is T n that is the instruction execution time? n into T n by how many clock cycles it required how many? k plus n minus 1 number of clock cycles. So, into the clock cycle duration, so that is the time period, so that is a tau, so that is my S of k. So, n into T n means 
this one this duration for one instruction for n number of instructions it will be n into tn k plus n minus 1 into tau will be the pipeline execution time. So, their ratio will give you the speed up ratio time. Now, if n is very very much greater than k, we know that n can be a very large number, large number of instructions are getting executed, but k is fixed for the architecture. So, in the case if n is very very much greater than k, then k plus n minus 1 will be almost equal to n. So, here we will be getting n into tau, here we will be getting n into T n. So, speed up ratio will become almost equal to that is T n by tau. So, that is a one assumption, assumption I am having that is n is very very much greater than k. So, now I want to calculate the throughput, then I shall also calculate the efficiency. Okay, let us go for the efficiency at first. Efficiency, efficiency means efficiency means we are having this uh, sk we are having n into t n by, uh, by k plus n k plus n minus 1 into tau I have written the same I can also make it tau also no issues the same thing tau tp means phase duration so here here the phase duration is tau so now what is happening you see t n means what t n means t n means k into tp tp means the phase duration so, k into T p. So, that is the that is the k into T p we are having this one. So, T p can be also written as tau because already we have discussed tau here. So, if you go on dividing, so ultimately you are remaining with n into k by k plus n minus 1. So, that is my another expression of this s of k. Now, efficiency means x k by k, x k by k. So, s k is there, k is there in the numerator. So, it will come down to the denominator. So, it will be n by k plus n minus 1. So, that is the expression for the efficiency of the pipeline. So, speed up ratio, I have done the calculations, one assumptions. So, speed up ratio has become this one. So, here the phase duration is almost equal to, there is a phase duration is equal to the time period, which is max of the phase durations plus the latch delay. I told you this one from this diagram, it is there also mentioned. And then we will be having this uh, frequency I have discussed. So, last topic is my throughput. So, last topic is my throughput. So, let me discuss the throughput here. So, what is the throughput? Throughput means number of instructions executed per unit time. Please listen to me. Number of instructions executed per unit time. How many instructions have got executed? N number of. What is the total duration? K plus n minus 1 into tau. So, there is a total duration. So, n by this, n by this will be the number of instructions executed per unit time and that is known as the h of k. So, h of k will have the formula like this and it is quite obvious that frequency f is equal to 1 by tau. So, tau is equal to 1 by f. So, this 1 by tau can be also replaced by f only. So, n into f by k plus n minus 1. Several number of numerical problems may come on this on this particular formula. Please remember them and the deductions, derivations are quite simple. So, there is no difficulty here. So, please remember this particular formula for efficiency, for your time period calculations, for your speed up ratio, for your throughput. Please remember all these four parameters and respective expressions. Everything is there on this particular board I have done. So, non-pipeline architecture, these are the phases, this is the execution in the pipeline architecture, instruction wise interleaved, phase wise interleaved, 5 number of phases, 6 number of instructions, n is equal to 6, k is equal to 5 and the respective deductions and derivations. So, now I shall continue with this particular pipeline topic in our next videos, please watch them and get the good concept. Thank you.